Hello viewers, you are welcome to our Educational Channel TV at Scholars Card YouTube channel. Today's, I welcome you to today's edition under physics. We are going to look at these questions under, under physics. And uh, that say that calculation involving equation of motion, calculation involving equation of motion. What we are going to look at is these two simple equations. Hmm? Very, very simple when you come across this type of question in physics what you are going to use is your what is it called your equation of motion because in, in the study of physics we have the four equation of motion that we apply in any equation that involve equation are you getting me so in that case that is exactly what you are going to apply to tackle and solve this two equation i'm having on the board so let's go directly to the question by solving it one after the other Calculation involving equation of motion. So let me bring out by writing the for the equation of motion that we have. We have for the equation of motion like this. The first one to be v to be equal to u plus a t, and the second one to be v squared u squared plus two a s, and the third one s is equal to u t plus half. Sorry, half a t square, and the third one to be s equal to v plus u over t everything raised to the power multiplied by t. Yes, so these are the four the equation of motion that we have one, two, three, four the equation of motion that we have. So these are the four the equation that we are going to apply to solve this to solve this equation. So let's take it one after the other. The first question I'm having this is that. A train moves with a uniform velocity of 36 km per hour. Yes, for 10 seconds. A train moves uniform velocity of 36 km per hour for move for 10 seconds. Then you are asked to calculate the distance traveled. That is the, 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 the distance traveled by that car for that second, for 10 seconds. So what will be the distance traveled by that car when it's moving at least 36 km at a uniform velocity? Are you getting me? So let's apply that. But mind you, your parameters you are giving in that question. Let me start by that. By writing out the parameters you are giving in that question, I will start with the velocity. I'm telling you, uh, I'm giving that the is in uniform velocity and it's 36 km per hour. So let me start by that. V is equal to 36 km per hour. That's velocity, but don't forget that. In physics, the unit for velocity is not kilometer per hour. So in that case, this unit that you're having here, what you're going to do is that you're going to convert it. You convert that to, to be in meter per second because my velocity is being measured in meter per seconds. So what I'm going to do is that convert your 36 kilometer to meter per second. So that's where I'm starting from. Let me have my 36 kilometer to be converted back to meter per seconds and don't forget that my one kilometer is equal to 1000 meter one kilometer is equal to 1000 meter so in that case i'm going to multiply this 36 multiplied by 1000 in meter then divided by kilometer to, to, to um, uh, hour rather to convert your hour to what is it called to seconds because our time is being measured in seconds so that is i'm going to multiply that by dividing it by 60 multiplied by 60 and this is being measured in what in seconds are with me so let's try to multiply this this will give me 36,000 multiplied by what is it called 3,600 so this will divide this one zero recounting one one zero recounting one year so i'm left with 360 multiplied by 36. This is measured in meter and this is measured in seconds. Yes. So in that case, this is my 36. Let me divide this math to give me one. So at the end of the day, I'm going to have it to be 10 meter per per seconds. 10 meter per second. So in that case, my velocity is equal to 10 meter per seconds. Are you with me? So in that case, I've covered my what is it called? My velocity from kilometer to being in what is it called so from kilometer per hour to meter per second is this 10 meter per second please are you getting me okay let's continue from there then 
That's the first parameter I'm giving. The second parameter I'm having there is in seconds. Time, which is 10 seconds. 10 seconds. And the third one there is not given. That is my distance I'm using to calculate. So let me give it a question mark. Are you getting my explanation? Okay, let's proceed by... Look at the four uh, equation of motion I'm having on the board. Here's the first one, second one, the third, and the fourth. So let me look at the equation and look at my parameters. Which one is related to each other? So that we apply the one that is very related and sub, uh, substitute all the values there directly. This is S and representing my, my distance. S is representing my distance. This is another S representing my distance. But if I look at the two S that I'm having here, in this parameter, in this first, in the third equation here, I'm having to be ut plus half at square. And the third, the fourth one here is v plus u divided by t, multiplied by t, divided by 2, multiplied by t. I don't think I'm going to apply this man, but in the, in the same way, I can still apply it, but something is missing here. This man is not giving my question. A, which is the acceleration. I'm not giving acceleration in that question. So I don't think I'm going to apply that. Let me try this. The fourth one, the fourth equation of motion, and at the same time, I can, in the same, in the same way, check this man if I could be able to use that at the same time. But let me start by this fourth equation of motion first, and let's apply that. So we say that from S, we are given that S is equal to V plus you multiply by 2, and everything multiply by T. So in this case, this is my velocity already, and you here representing my, what is it called, my initial velocity. In the question there, the initial velocity there is zero. Yes. So I'm having it to be, in this way, S, representing my distance, equal to V to be my velocity is 10. Mm? My V to be 10, and I'm going to add it to be, multiply, uh, 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 add to zero, which is my initial velocity, divided by two, then everything multiplied by T. And the t is what? Is 10. I think I've substituted something here. Yes. So from here, I'm having it to be this. This is 10 multiplied, divided by 2. Everything multiplied by 10. So I'm going to have it to be s equal to, this is 5. Then 5 multiplied by 10. Then s will give me what? 50 meter. So this time I'm looking for there will be this. So distance, this one traveled. This one traveled by that, what's it called? By that train now, it will be 50, 50 meter. I'm going to have it in meter because uh, what's good? This has been measured in meter. I think if you give us, if you are resolving like 50 kilometer per hour, you're wrong because this is kilometer and this is meter. So I'm going to leave my answer in meter. So my last answer there will be 50 meters. So this is distance. This uh, was it called the train is going to is going to travel at that time 10 seconds. I think if I applied the second equation here, I could be able to get the same answer. But what, what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to look for the value of a first. Because if I didn't get this a, I cannot apply this one. And that's when I said there's going to be a relationship between your equation that you are going to use out of this fourth equation and your question. Yes, the equation you are going to use is depend on the question you are giving. If you look at the parameters you are giving and you make sure that your parameter you are giving is related to the what's it called to the formula you are going to apply. And that's the reason why I make use of this formula. But let me try to open our mind to something again by taking the second second equation. Pardon me to clean this side off. Okay. I think before I can apply this formula, I'm going to look for this man for the value of A, which is acceleration. Yes. Then I can make use of this man from here. From the first equation there, I'm having the value of A, but I'm not giving. But I can get it from there because I'm I'm uh, I have my T, then U this is uh, is with uh, I know the U to be zero, then V also this. Possible. Then I'm having it to be in this case. Then v to be equal to u plus at. V is equal to u plus at. Then my v is there is what is it called? 
10 meter per second is equal to my yield is 0, then plus A multiplied by T, which is 10 also. I think from here I can have 10 meter to be equal to 0 plus 10 A. What I'm looking for is the value of my A. I wanted to get A first. Are you getting me? I'm going to get A first, then I'm going to substitute it back just for me to assure that if I use this formula and this formula, I'm going to get the same thing. So let me confirm that. And this is so let me just have my 10 A 10. Sorry, God. 10 multiplied by 10 A. So let me divide both sides by A, by 10 rather, by 10. So that I will have my A to be negative, to be, to be 1. Yes. Is that not uh, what is it called? Yes, I'm having A to be 1 in this case now. So let me from there substitute that value to this side. So that I will have I will have S to be equal to U plus U. Let me clear this side off. But don't forget the first answer we are getting there is 50 kilometer per uh, 50 meters rather. That is the answer we are getting there. 50 meter. Then I'm going to have it. I'm going to make use of that formula. S is equal to ut plus half a t square. So let me go back to that. t plus half a t square. S is equal to this. Then S will be equal to u there is my initial velocity multiplied by t. And don't forget our t is multiplied by is 0 multiplied by t. And that is 10. The value of our t is 10, uh, what is it called? 10 seconds multiply by plus other add it plus what's it called plus half plus half so that i'll multiply the value of a and t squared together so i'm having, I'm having this plus a multiplied by a multiplied by t squared i think that t is my time also and that is 10 and don't forget it's 10 raised to the power 2 multiplied by another 10. And don't forget, okay, let me try to submit the value of a directly here. And I know that to be what is it called? To be 1. Yes. That's what I'm getting it from, from here. 1. Yes. Just forget my marker is drying off. I think I have to replace it with another one. <clears throat> wow. I think you could be able to see what I'm trying to write on the board here. Please pardon me for that of this marker. Then let me have it like this. This is giving me zero already. So my edge is be equal to what is it called? This is 100 multiplied by one year. I think I'm having it to be what is it called? To be 100. If you multiply your 10 times 10, this is giving you 100. 100. Then directly divided by 2 because of our time and this marker off. So I'm going to have this math to be 100 divided by 2 will give me 50. So my distance is the same answer, and this is mentioned in meters also. Are you getting me? So let me just round it off here by saying that if you mix of this formula and this formula, I'm going to arrive at the same answer. But the difference there is just this value of a because I'm not going to mix of that because I'm not new, I didn't, I'm not giving the value of a which is acceleration there in that question. So that is why I didn't apply this formula in the fourth answer. But we see that when I first look for the value of a first, then I substitute here. I'm getting it to be also a 15 in meter. Are you getting me? So thank you for this. And anytime that you are coming across any question that related to this, just apply your what is it called the equation of motion. Mm? So you are going to arrive at the correct answer just for you to make use of the correct correct formula. Thank you, God bless. And don't forget to please hmm, share, comment on our YouTube channel. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir.